Well, I think our biggest fear in the YouTube community has come to pass. In a 348 to 274 vote, the European Union's parliament voted to enact Article 13, which has been renumbered Article 17 of the Copyright Directive. I think memes are gone, I really do. And I think you could forget about European live game streamers. So what can we do about this? Let's hit this. Hello, my friend. I'm Ian Corzine, your YouTube community lawyer. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the European Union's passing of Article 13, or what YouTubers call the meme killer law. What is Article 13 or what's been renumbered Article 17? Well, the relevant text is right here. If you're an online content sharing service like YouTube or Twitch, and you publish a creator's video which has copyrighted material on it, then the platform itself can be held civilly liable to pay money damages to the original owner of that copyrighted material. The previous law, or the law that's in effect in most non-European countries is a passive system. It gives the platform a safe harbor, meaning it can't be sued, and it pushes the dispute between the video creator and the original copyright holder off the platform. As a content creator, you may be tempted to ask, Ian, isn't it a good thing that now there's a law that's been passed that allows copyright owners to recover against all the bad actors who stole their material? Not only the person who published the video, but also the social media platform. The answer is maybe, and listen, I am a fierce protector of copyright owners' rights to their property. However, the words of Article 13 do not allude to its sweeping effects in practice. Because fair use is subjective, it's a human, it's a subtle decision, computers and their upload filters can't decide it yet. And if computers cannot pick up fair use and social media platforms can be sued for publishing content which a judge later decides is not fair use, guess what's gonna happen? Platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Google, they're not gonna publish any questionable content. Any content that's questionable as to its fair use they're gonna block, they're not gonna publish it. So no videos, no audio clips, no memes, no video game live streaming that has any borrowed content will be published by the social media platforms. They just don't wanna take the risk of being sued. And that's a shame for European artists. Without social media to pump up the popularity of their works, they're gonna earn less. Without the ability to use derivative works under fair use principles, artist creativity will be stymied. While some artists will be able to get out their original works on the larger social media platforms in Europe, the smaller upstart social media platforms won't exist in Europe. And that's because they can't afford the content ID filters, the large computers that it will take to adequately protect them against lawsuits. So what can you, the YouTube creator, do? Well, if you live in Europe, probably nothing. In about a month, 27 countries who are members of the EU are expected to adopt the Article 13, Article 17 measure. And in two years, the law will be fully implemented. However, if you live outside of Europe, then read the copyright directive. Listen to commentators and experts on the law. Keep yourself informed, because if the law can pass in Europe, then it's only a matter of time before movie producers, record companies, news corporations do their best to get a similar law on the ballot in your community. Like EU Parliament member Julia Retta said, today was a dark day for internet freedom. But I wanna hear what you think about Article 13. Let's discuss this more on our Discord server. I put a link to the Discord server in the description section below. All right, see you next time.